from London, this is Q Live. Britain, get ready to play. to Q Live. I'm Marina Berry, it's 1 p.m. and today is Justin Timberlake's birthday. Oh yeah. So you could be bringing sexy back if you win 500 pounds this afternoon. Uh, you know the deal, I'm gonna ask you 12 questions. Very easy to very hard. You can have 10 seconds to tap each answer. If you get all 12 right, then you'll win or split the cash. Now before we get started, let's find out the winner of yesterday's golden key. The golden key. Jack MB 2302, congratulations. You've won yourself 50 quid. Now I've hidden another golden cue somewhere in today's show. You get that question right and you could be selected to win 50 pounds. So even if you've already been eliminated from the game, keep playing for your chance to win. And don't forget, I'll be here at 3 p.m. with the free at three. Simply answer three questions and get an extra life. But right now, it's time for the game that stops the nation. This could be your lucky day. Get ready to play. Let's play. So, seven and a half thousand of you ready to win that 500 pounds. Are you ready for Q1? First up, we've got a game of who do you think you are? Take a look at this very famous funny man because your question is about to pop right up. Q1, who is this comedian? John Bishop, Tommy Cooper or Mickey Flanagan? Now, this comedian is famous for asking you if you're going out or out, out. You can go out down the shops. If you're going out proper, you're going out, out. Yeah? Have you seen him? Have you gone out, out recently? It's Nicky Flanagan. That's the answer. Q2. The English city of Newcastle lies on the banks of what river? Trent, Mersey or Tyne? Now, Newcastle is believed to be the coldest major city in England. I mean, it's pretty cold in London right now. So, I mean, last night... I got home, minus five. I mean, that, that's summer in Newcastle, apparently. <laughs> the, the answer is time. Uh, next up, we've got a picture question. Now, this is a picture of a famous logo. So take a look at your screen, because your question is about to pop right up. Q3. This is a logo of what company? Heinz, Walls, or Oxo? So, what can we see here? You can see a white sort of squiggle um, on a red background or is it orange i mean look i'm saying it's orange the guys the guys in the gallery are saying it's red i mean you make your own decision uh walls is the answer though that is the logo now uh, don't forget i've hidden one golden cue somewhere in today's show get that right and you could win 50 pounds even if you've already been eliminated let's get back to the game q4 the welsh village of port merion is associated with which cult 1960s tv series the prisoner the avengers or the man from uncle now, the village of Port Merion, it hosts a music festival every year, right? It's called Festival Number no. 6. And the whole village shuts down, loads of people enjoy the festival, thousands of people go to it. Uh, the answer is The Prisoner. And the festival is called Number no. 6 because the main character in The Prisoner is called Prisoner Number no. 6. See? See what they did there? Honestly, I'm full of prison facts today. <laughs> Just the one, actually. Don't worry, there's no more. Q5. Carophobia is the fear of what? Clowns, buttons, or rainbows. Now, I've got a friend who's got a genuine phobia of buttons. A genuine phobia. Like, as in, he's actually terrified of buttons. All his clothes have, like, zips and, like, poppers and Velcro and stuff like that. None, none of his clothes have buttons. The answer is clowns. I'm actually, I'm actually terrified of clowns. Get it off the screen now. Get it off, get it off. I can't, I can't, I just, I can't look. I cannot, I cannot look. I mean, like, the film It was my worst nightmare. Two <sighs> six. Sam Smith is not a featured artist on which of these hits by the electric music duo Disclosure, Latch, You and Me, or Omen. Disclosure is a, it's formed of brothers Guy and Howard Lawrence. They're from Rygate in Surrey. They're currently working on their third album, actually. Uh, the answer is You and Me. Six down, six to go. Are you still in the game? Don't forget, every night this week at seven, we'll be bringing you the Spain Cue. Now, we've listened to all your feedback, and tonight, 
we're going back to the old rules. So if you get six right, you'll split the cash. Uh, and tonight the prize is going up. So join us at seven. But right now, let's play for 500 pounds. Next up, we've got a picture question. Now we've zoomed in on a famous book cover. So take a look at your screen because your question's about to appear. Here it is, Q7. This image is taken from a cover for which of these novels? A Tale of Two Cities, Les Miserables, or The Scarlet Pimpernel? So three very, very famous books. Uh, you might have read this one. You might have seen it in a bookshop. You might recognise the image, but just not sure which one it came, it came from. Uh, a Tale of Two Cities is what it is. Let's zoom out, reveal the full book cover. There you go. It all becomes clear now, doesn't it? Q8. Which of these is not the title of an episode of the IT crowd? The dinner party, nothing happened, or from hell? Of course, uh, this was a big show, wasn't it? In the noughties on Channel 4. Uh, you might remember it starred uh, Chris O'Dowd. Chris O'Dowd. Uh, the answer is nothing happened. If you got knocked out on that question, make sure that you use your extra life right now to get back into the game. Now it's time for question nine. Uh, hey, it's a golden cube. Now, this is worth £50 to one player, even if you've already been eliminated. So get ready, because here we go. Q9. What was the only match to finish nil-nil at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia? Senegal v Colombia, Germany v Mexico, or Denmark v France? So this is worth £50 to one player. Even if you've already been knocked out of the game, you could still win that £50. The answer is Denmark v France. Well done, if you got that right. Pandora will be announcing today's winner tomorrow at one. Let's get back to the game. Q10. Of the following Monty Python films, which was released the earliest? Monty Python's Life of Brian, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, or Monty Python's The Meaning of Life? Monty Python's Fine Circus uh, was nearly cancelled, you know, after one episode. Apparently the show went over the edge of what was acceptable. A bit like Charlie on Q Live. Mm. Uh, the answer is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And that was released in 1975 when I was only 10. Hey, who wrote that? I was actually minus 10. Thank you very much. Q11. Which of these actresses is not mentioned in the lyrics of the Kim Khan song, Betty Davis Eyes? Jean Harlow, Greta Garbo, Rita Hayworth. Get this right. You'll be one correct answer away from 500 pounds. You're all singing it, aren't you? Betty Davis eyes. Rita Hayworth is the answer we were looking for. Now, you've made it to the final question. You've not done very well. You've done very well. It's time to see if you can beat the queue. <laughs> 46 of you still in the game. Ready to win that 500 pounds? Here we go. Good luck. It's Q12. Which of these is not the title of a poem by Ralph Waldo Emerson? Loyal. Eight. Experience. This is a £500. Crossing my fingers for you. Do you know your poems? Are you a poet and you just don't know it? <laughs> oh, sorry, I love laughing at my own jokes. Someone's got it. Uh, the answer is loyal. Uh, 36 of you are winners. Congratulations. You'll be sharing that £500. Don't forget, we love to see our winners. So uh, send us a video of you celebrating and we'll give you a free life. Uh, Pandora. Tonight at 7 and 8.30 with more chances for you to win cash. And I'll be back at 3 p.m. with the free at three. Answer three questions in a row and win a free life. It is that easy. Until then, I've been Marina Berry. You've been extraordinary. I'll see you at three. <laughs>